what's up it's destiny back again with another video and today this video is going to be my review on the can can concealment elite thigh holster okay if you follow me on instagram which if you don't follow me on instagram then you have no idea what i'm talking about however i've been in the market doing my research doing my googles checking out youtube university looking for a reliable thigh holster it wasn't until i came across kyla monarch's um youtube channel she does reviews on holsters and she did a review on this can can thigh holster and i was like bet i'm gonna check it out for sure now so i still did some research and then i finally just got it hold on y'all it's a little toasty under this light honey i don't know why it's toasty today maybe because i haven't made a video in a minute and so i'm feeling kind of like guilty for not being consistent we're going we're going to do better we're going to be more consistent please don't please don't fault me um y'all know the disclaimer if you hear kids or dogs in the background nothing i can do about it okay um so let's jump into this review I tried to maintain the packaging it comes in a white envelope you know with your address and things of that nature y'all don't need to see that y'all know what that looks like but it does come in this packaging okay it's a little beat up I've had it for a while Let, full disclosure anytime I have done a review or an unboxing I've had the item for over a week at least two weeks I've had this for about two going on three weeks now so the packaging is not as nice as when it first arrived so don't um, fault them for that that's on me but it comes in this cute like vintage newspaper packaging so cute okay this is on brand for them can can concealment is very like vintagey and um, so this is what it comes comes with a little sticker that is worn off now and then you just open it it's just like this you reach in and you pull out your product so this is the can can thigh holster elite okay this is let me undo the hooks so you see of course on the website they go from I don't know if they have extra small but they go from small I think to extra large they might have 2x check out their website to be totally sure I got mine in a size large and I think I may have been able to get away with the medium but I didn't want to take the chance so I just wanted to go up it tells you on their website how to do the sizing of the measurements on your thigh so be sure to check out their website after you finish my review honey okay so it has these hooks so it's a latch hook thing. I go to the bottom because that's how it works for me. But it has this material that really sticks to your skin. So you have no problem with slipping. I have not had to concern myself with the thigh holster slipping down and my firearm possibly coming out. I have not had to worry about any of that at all. I will say sometimes I do wear shorts and put this on top of the shorts underneath my skirt um as well but i've had no slippage no concern of my firearm falling out or anything of that nature so on this you have the zipper part which i have not put anything in this zipper part because i mean it's very thin i think you could probably get away with putting like your debit or credit card in there id license things like that in there you don't want to put too much in here because you don't want it to be bulky if you're not wearing a very big puffy dress um or skirt so you want to be mindful of that it has this cute i could kind of do without this little piece that's just me um cute little detail here then this is where you put your firearm in okay and i'm going to demonstrate i'm going to clear my firearm because she's not clear dropping the mag okay she's clear just so y'all see empty so here is where you would place your firearm okay and you would just stick it in like that 
and it goes like that okay and maybe if you needed to push it down a little bit more you could and hide that grip so like that that's how your firearm would fit and so when you go to draw you just go right in like that okay and it has a magnet here because I bet you're like well that's neat what if I'm doing some crazy things and I do a cartwheel and <laughs> I don't know if I would advise doing cartwheels when you're wearing this holster with your firearm I don't know but look upside down and it still stays in okay because there's a magnet in here it's it's in here and it keeps your gun safe and in place so you don't have to worry about nothing falling out or flying around crazy like okay and let's see the retention mind you it will be on your thigh so when you go in and it's a pretty good draw um if you follow me on instagram then you would have already seen my video of me drawing from this can can concealment thigh holster but i will do a demonstration as well and so here you also have another pocket which you could put in an extra mag if you wanted to see how that goes right in there so this is how it would look obviously not on my thigh but this is how it would look extra mag firearm there around your thigh okay so i think that this is a very good um holster for again those of us who like to wear skirts dresses have different options um specifically for women if you identify as a woman what have you um if you're wearing dresses or skirts regardless of your identification you want to still be able to have your means of protection with you so i think that this is a really great option it's a really great option for me this also has i don't know if you can see it and i'm not sure what it's really called but you could get the garter that goes around your waist to keep it up so far i have not seen where that is necessary for me so i'm not going to be purchasing that additional thing but you can if you feel like it would be more helpful or if you feel like it will be um more secure for you but yeah um see this is where the magnet is right here so i have not made any adjustments to this holster i know sometimes we get our holsters and we want to customize them to fit us um and to fit our needs in a different way so far i have not had to do this um i've worn this various places and nobody knows and that is the beauty of concealment nobody knows nobody knows unless they follow you on instagram that's the only way that they would know so um yeah what else can i say about this the material it's pretty sturdy it's pretty sturdy it has a little bit of stretch but not much what i would suggest in putting this on is latching the hooks then pulling it up your leg and pulling it up to the desired um position on your leg and then of course i'm wearing it with my gun where my firearm is inward in the inside of my thigh so i would twist it and put it inward um i'm gonna see if i can do a demonstration without everything showing of course i will wear shorts but um i'm gonna see how i can do that um so i love this holster um, I feel that if you are looking for another option for your skirts and your dresses and things of that nature, I would definitely give Can Can Concealment a try. I think this holster was like $60, $65 or something like that. Um, shipping was super fast, um, but I think that is worth it. If you feel that protecting and defending your life is worth it, then you know check this out. We have to have other options for us because we have a lot of different clothing options. So. You want to have a holster that can accommodate your needs so yeah i'm gonna try to put in a clip of me demonstrating this mm. um but yeah y'all leave a comment below have you tried can can thigh holster are there any thigh holsters out there that you recommend um my battery's about to die so make sure to like leave a comment let me know what's going on share this video with someone who's in the market for a thigh holster 
Um, and yeah, if you love someone, tell them. Love you all. All right, so I'm back really quick. Horrible glare on my glasses. I'm back really quick to show you how to draw from the Can Can holster while it's on. Is my battery still about to die? Oh no, we got a little bit of juice. Okay, so I'm gonna pan the camera down so that y'all can see a better angle because I do have it on. My firearm is on. Um, I'm not editing this out, so y'all bear with me. I'm gonna pan it down. I spilled water on my shirt as I was trying to be situationally aware of what was happening outside while drinking water and spill some. Okay, so I hope you can kind of see. Um, I'm wearing a skirt. You can't even tell that I have anything on, but I have it on. Let me show you that I have it on. There is the, th can I scoot in honey? There is the thigh holster. There is the grip of my firearm. There's the barrel of it sticking out. It is inward, so when my legs are down, it's in, okay? So I just wanna show you really quick. This is not gonna be no Texas Hold'em, super fast draw, 30 seconds or less, 2.35, whatever. I'm just showing you the motion of drawing. It is very imperative that no matter how you're choosing to carry, before you leave the house, you practice so that god forbid if you're ever in a situation you know and you have that muscle memory so that you know how to draw what you have to do to get to your firearm so in a long skirt like this spill water okay long skirt like this you're gonna have to clear you want to clear the firearm so i'm gonna bend down as far as i can to pull up my skirt okay to expose the firearm and i'm gonna I might dip a little bit to get a good grip. You see, you want to get a firm grip on that handle, pull it, and point. Okay? I'm going to show you again. And putting it back in is very easy. You see, it has a tab that you can pull. Slide the firearm back in. You're ready to go. Again, nobody knows. Nobody can see. Perfectly good to conceal in something like this. Something tighter. You might be able to see the print of the firearm, I mean the print of the holster, and you might want to reconsider. But right here, we're fine. So again, you want a non-dominant hand, okay? Dip down, pull it up to clear the firearm so that you can get right in there, pull it, get on the target, okay? I'll do it one more time. Okay, and mobility, moving around, it's fine, okay? People always ask, is it comfortable to conceal carry? Is it comfortable to conceal carry? Is it comfortable to have something attached to your body that normally would not be there? But if it's for your safety, does that really matter? Can you deal with it for a couple of hours to ensure your safety? Okay, so... For me, because I've been wearing it for a couple of weeks, it's fine. I know it's there, I can feel it. I feel the firearm on the inside of my leg. It's not injuring me, I'm not getting any chafing. Um, that's why I would suggest sometimes wearing shorts, depending on how tight the skirt is, maybe wearing shorts can help that if it's gonna make your thighs closer and the rubbing. I don't know, you know your body better than anybody else. Um, so you make adjustments so that it can work. Um, the same thing with wearing the um, concealment belt. Oh, it's not comfortable having something on my stomach. For me it is, because I wear waist beads. I've been wearing waist beads for years. I'm used to having something there. I'm cautious because I know that something is there. So wearing something around me like this is not uncomfortable. But either way, you adjust. If it's for your safety, you adjust. Or you wear different different clothing so you won't have to wear it but anyway again dipping down okay that's all it takes that's all you got to do and again practice your draw before you leave your house because you want to make sure that god forbid you get in a situation you'll be able to get to your firearm if need be 
all right camera's a little crazy the glare is ridiculous all right so that's all y'all um i hope y'all enjoyed this review i hope it was helpful to you if you um found it helpful let me know leave a comment leave a like share the video with someone who is in the market for a thigh holster um yeah again if you love someone tell them i love you all